Fenty Beauty came out with lip liners. Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. They finally came out with lip liners. I swear I've been saying this since like day one. They have such amazing lip products, but the thing that was missing was lip liners. And do you know what? I find that brands don't come out with a lot of good brown lip liners. It's either too mauve or too pink or too cool. But you know that matte cork lip shade? I feel like we have one today. Anyways, I'm gonna be swatching the new lip liners for you guys and the new gloss bomb sticks. These are supposed to be like these beautiful glossy lipsticks and it just feels like it's right up my street. So I'm gonna be swatching all of these as well. These are new. So yeah, let's waste no time and jump straight into it. I used to do so many lip swatch videos. Guys, do you remember back in the day, the Huda Beauty lip swatch video, the liquid mattes? So the Trey Style Pencil Lip Liner has a creamy true cast color it has no ash or drag it universally flatters and lasts eight hours there are 10 shades first of all can we take a moment for all the brown shades available that we have here i am living for it thank you very much the first shade is rubber bands oh this is my first time trying these and they're super creamy this one is a little bit too light for me this is what rubber bands looks like we have Thugs Blush too. I love the name of this. This is like a pinky shade. Again, I think this one's a little bit too light for me, but it's like a mauvey pink. If your skin is more on the lighter side, then you would definitely like this shade if you're into like those pinky lip liners. It's kind of hard to rub off, I'm not gonna lie. And I have a spot which bloody hurts. It's not my lip, it's like right underneath it. And it chose the, the best time to come out. Next shade we have is Riri. Oh. This is a really nice pretty pink shade. That is pretty. It's really. Guys, it's so hard to rub off with a wipe. Oh my god, I'm gonna struggle. Next shade we have is peanut butter. Peanut butter! For me, this is a brown for like lighter skin tones for sure. I'm doing like little swatches on my hand to show you in the end, but it's so satisfying to write on my hand. Next, we have Satin Panty. This is, oh, it's like a perfect brick shade. I mean, you could just wear this on its own and it'll be stunning. I really, really like this one. Next, we have Extra Thigh. Ooh, that's like a matte cork shade. Yeah, I really like that. Extra thigh. I feel like that's matte cork. Yeah, love that one. Definitely will be using that one for sure. Just need a little bit of foundation. Next shade we have is browned out. This looks more deeper for sure. Okay, that's MAC, almost looks like MAC chestnut. That is browned out. These are so creamy, like they're slipping and sliding, but when it's it's set, it's so hard to come off. So I already know these are long wearing and I've seen people actually do swatch tests and like they won't rub off. I mean, we can try once these dry down, but they don't come off when you rub on it. This is I wouldn't. Well, this one's like lighter and a bit more warmer than the last one. Yeah, I think this one is like my favorite, I think. I love that it's more on the warmer side. I wouldn't. It's pretty, right? I really like this one. I, I'm almost thinking like, is this matte cork? I don't know. I, sh I don't even have one with me because it's always in my handbag. But I do think extra thigh is a bit more close up for sure. But I love the combinations, like the different variations of browns that we have. I'm all here for it. Now we have a very deep brown. This one's cold blooded. So yeah, this is cold blooded. I love this. You could do like those 90s lipstick, like lip looks with this one. And then we have one last one. It's the MVP. I think it's gonna be like a true red. So this is the MVP, it's just a true red. I just wanna say thank you to the Fenty Beauty team for sending this because honestly, I'm all stocked up on lip liners. The quality on these is like top notch. I can already feel as like it's gliding on my lips. The way that it's so hard to come off, they feel really comfy. And the shades, the browns especially, like I'm just all here for it. 10 out of 10, 
based on my first impressions. These are all the shades, this is from the first one we tried all the way to the last one. And as you can see, we have a lot of brown shades in the middle there. A, like a nice variation of, you know, lighter shades and deeper shades. I feel like you've got your nudie pinky brownie shades for paler skin tones and then some brown, some really pretty brown and a nice pink one, which is I think a really that more tan or deeper skin tones can use but I just love the browns available here and then obviously you've got your red so yeah really like these okay now we can go on to our lipsticks these are supposed to be super high shine gloss sticks so we have 10 shades in this one it's a glossy lipstick that locks in moisture for up to eight hours loaded with squalene vitamin e and shea butter it's long lasting and medium pigment this is two lip kiss and this is the first shade this is what they come like I don't know what it smells like but it smells like those old school lip glosses love the smell you know i'm big on smells if you've been on my channel for a while you know that i love a good scent in makeup you want your lips to smell like this like if you're on the first date and you're just like oh your your lips smell like this like i can smell it this is too lip kiss obviously it's too light for me on its own this is what it looks like put a little bit of lip liner but because it, it's better to put the lip liner on before than put it after because it's just like slipping and sliding on the gloss but this looks really nice then we have Blazed Donut. I think, yeah, I definitely need a lip liner with this, but this is what Blazed Donut is. Like a bubblegum pink. I'm not gonna lie, with a pink, nice pink liner, this would look really bomb. We have the OG shade, which is Fenty Glow. Oh, I love this one. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. The perfect everyday shade. I feel like this one's coming in my bag. This one's called Is It Fussy? It's like a deep mauve. I love how these are applying, I love how these feel on the lips, I honestly have nothing bad to say so far. And this is, is it fussy? The perfect mauve shade and it actually goes really well on my skin tone. Oh my god, I'm literally so excited to try this next one. This is High Hibiscus, I feel like this will be a perfect holiday shade if it applies the way I want it to. And that means not too opaque because I get too scared when it comes to bright colours. But when it's like a soft muted colour, I love, like, I love that. So who was that to me? I would just wear this colour like this, but if you want the full colour, which is actually quite, quite nice still, would I wear this out? I don't know. I don't know about this shade. But this is High Hibiscus. This shade is Riri. It actually kind of matches the Riri shade in the lip pencil. Does it mean that this is her favourite shade? Like I want to know. I don't think this one's for me personally, but this is what she looks like. What do you guys think? This one's called Sortra Selfish. I feel like it's gonna be right on my street. This one feels a bit different. Doesn't feel as soft as the other ones. This shade is borderline my skin tone. <laughs> and I don't know if that's like a good thing or not. Basically, if you had a caca brown, that this would be caca brown. Yeah. It's giving caca brown. I think I would pair this definitely with a lip liner, like a darker lip liner. Then we have Spice Cold. This is a very cool, cool shade. When you take out the lipstick, just make sure not to like take too much out because otherwise it will melt. It's kind of like those MAC gloss sticks as well that I really love. You just have to be take a little bit out at a time. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one. It's very cool, like a cool mauve almost. Then we have Hot Chocolate. Ah! Oh. If you like the darker I'm going, the softer these are, and plus it's really hot today, but this is hot chocolate. Yeah, I don't think you would ever see me out and about with this lipstick, but I love to play with makeup, so I'm sure I use it for tutorials later on, but it wouldn't be a shade that I would go for to wear out. Finally, we have the MVP. This first, like, just as a tint. Like, how pretty is that on its own? Just like ever so slightly. And this is what the MVP looks like for me. I kind of want to try some lip combinations for you guys. First, I'm going to take Satin Panty to line my lips with this. Two Lip Kiss. I really like that. Those two go really well together. Okay, now I'm going to take I Wouldn't with Sortra Selfish. Oh yes, thank you very much. I 
I really like this one. Okay, let's do one last one. More like a maybe pinky one. I'm gonna take Ruby. I'm gonna take Blazed Donut, which is a really light pink. And what do we think about this one? It's very pinky, but wearable, right? I like it. Riri and Blaze Donut. Okay, that is all from me, guys. I really hope you found this video helpful if you are thinking to get these, but overall, my first impression is that they're bomb. 10 out of 10, I have nothing to complain about. The lip liners, I'm rubbing. Nothing's coming off. That is what we love to see, people. I feel so lucky to get these, and if I'm getting all the shades, I might as well film me swatching all of them for you guys, because, I don't know, it might be easy for you to check before going to buy them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!